for which values of p will both values will both of the series below converge? Okay. So let's see here. We're given a hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So look at this first one. We have something along the lines of one over n to the two p. I just moved the 2p to the outside because we can. I can say that uh, 1 is also to the 2p, and then top and bottom of the 2p move to the out, outside because 1 to any value will be um, 1. Okay, and so the question is, when does uh, 1 over n converge? So you have the harmonic series, which is 1 over n, which unless it's alternating, which this is not. Um, alternating means um, it includes something like negative one to the n, you know, alter alternating between plus and minus. Um, the harmonic series does not. This is the harmonic series. But um, one over n to the one plus one, one point one, just anything slightly larger than one will be will converge so 1 over n the harmonic series is kind of like the barrier between uh, converging and diverging so like 1 over n to the 1 half diverges 1 over n diverges 1 over n to the 1.1 1 .1 converges and so we want to choose p so that it has to be larger than one half. So one over n to two p, p is greater than one half. Can't be one half, but it can be larger than one half. So if we have two times one half, we get one, then we get one over uh, n to the first. So if it's anything slightly larger than that, with the p being larger than that, then it will converge. So this is our this is our condition that we get the first series. Okay, looking at the second series, and of course changing colors because you can't. So for this, this is a uh, geometric series. Um, the formula for the value of a geometric series is. Let's see here. I'll say this is k to the r to the n. And that equals 1 minus r to the k plus 1 over 1 minus r. The key takeaway from the formula here is this r ratio has to be less than 1. Um, k is a value, normally infinity. The formula only works with n starts at 0. But if all you're doing is talking about convergence, divergence, then one term really doesn't matter. And so it's okay that this is, starts at n equals 1. So the key takeaway, like I said, is r, the ratio, has to be less than 1. So p less than 2, or p divided by 2, is less than 1. Therefore, p is less than 2. So we have the two conditions. p has to be greater than 1 half. p has to be less than 2. And so we have this guy right there. We know this one won't work because if p is um, less than one half, the uh, this won't converge. So that's nope. Um, p can be greater than one half, so this one doesn't work. We found values that exist. And this is saying that, um, nope, that's just wrong. So it's one half, one half is less than p, less than two. <clears throat> and they're specifically less than and greater than um, and not equal to. So that's an interesting question. Interesting question. Good question. So, yep, that's how you look at some uh, radii of convergence and how they deal with series.